Hello and welcome back. Last week we talked about the entire aspect of how our mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs and how we can make use of that and use that to our advantage. If you haven't watched the video, make sure to do that. It's of course still saved in the library. Today we want to talk about the entire topic of instant gratification. So in our evolution history, instant gratification was always something very powerful to us because it would give us insights and it would give us an assessment of a situation that would then tell us if something should be repeated or not. So we would have experienced something, we would be evaluating that experience and based on our assessment, we would then know, all right, this was giving us something rewarding, this was gratifying, this was satisfying, so it should be repeated. Of course, the other way around for something negative that was associated with pain, with heaviness, with just mental load and with just so much negativity, then of course we wouldn't be repeating it because where was the point? Where is the point about that? It's just something that's painful. It's something that's potentially dangerous. So why would I repeat something that's associated with these negative qualities? Of course, you can see how this entire mechanism and mental process was extremely advantageous in the past and was extremely great for us to be able to very quickly assess situations and to then move on to a potentially not as risky future. Now, here we are again in the modern world where we're still running on this ancestry coding, where we're still running on these inherited programming. But of course, we're finding ourselves in a world with different triggers. So this entire video is about the aspect how we actually need to shift our instant gratification wiring to a delayed gratification wiring. What does that mean in practice? That of course means think about a situation where you felt resistance, where you felt something was painful, something was uncomfortable, something was unfamiliar. If you haven't watched the unfamiliar video, do that now because that's where we talk about how our mind always leans toward the familiar, always moves us towards the familiar and always moves us away from the unfamiliar, regardless of if something's destructive to us because we're staying in the familiar or not. And so this also comes into place here again. Because of course, if we're associating growth and development with something negative, then this entire mechanism and process of instant gratification wiring comes in very negatively. If we are running on that coding, which is inherited in us, we can't do anything about it. The only thing we can do about it is to make ourselves aware of it and to then shift it around. However, if you deny it and if you just neglect it, then it's just going to keep on running and you can make the choice to th today to either get control over this and to either make yourself aware of it and to regain that control to direct it in the way that you want it or you'll be basically running on this coding without noticing and it will direct your life and it will shape your life. So this video is of course about giving you this power and giving you this control back to really allow for you to create this life that you want. So let's dive a bit deeper. Let's say very basic example, you want to shift your job, you want to leave your old position and you want to start a new position because there's so many things that you have been denying, there's so many negative things that have happened and you really want to move on. Now you're finding yourself at the cross path where you kind of like know if you're being honest to yourself inside that you need to do something about it and that you need to change something. But then there comes the mental load and there comes this entire mental load of resistance and fear and so many new situations, so many new aspects you would need to do, so many unfamiliar steps that you would need to take on. Let's say you've been in your job for a very long time. The entire environment for an employee and for just applying to a job has changed. So much new digital aspects to take care of. And so that's so unfamiliar. That's such an unfamiliar environment. And here comes the gratification part in then. Of course, doing all of this, starting this process is not satisfying at all is not gratifying at all and is not giving us any reward in the instant time scope. And that's the problem because here our mind thinks, all right, well, this is painful. This is, this is, res I'm just feeling resistance. This is negative. I need to learn so much new. I need to explore so many new unfamiliar situations. 
this is all associated with pain pain and pleasure video if you haven't watched that one do that now because you can already see how all these different aspects are intertwined and are interacting and so here we need to train ourselves this entire thinking of delayed gratification and we actively need to do that we actively need to tell our minds this and need to really present to our mind the rewards that are awaiting us in the long term so a very easy practice that we can do right away to shift this around and to gain more control is to really make your mind aware and you can do that by just writing down a list what applies to you right now something that you want to change something where you though in the short term feel resistance and association with pain and negative feelings what's your situation think about it for a second and now take the situation and write down simply just write down all the positive aspects that can result from taking a step here and write down all the long-term gains write down all the long-term positive aspects write down everything that comes to mind that will be a reward and that will be satisfying and a gratification to you and this is already sending signals to your mind that something positive is awaiting you so this of course has such a powerful effect because this makes all these positive aspects so aware to your mind this is creating so much familiarity around these aspects already so you're actively training your mind and coding your mind to really believe these positive things and to really present it to your mind to then be able to move towards it and so here with this simple technique you've already done the first big step to overcome this resistance and to really really get into motion to get yourself where you want to be and this is just one of the first techniques that you can apply here of course there's so many more that you can do make yourself aware of this concept and i really hope this video was able to aid you in that regard and to really support you in growing your awareness around this topic so when you finish this video, sit down, write down your list for your particular individual situation. And let's get you moving. Let's get you into motion. Let's get you where you want to be, where you truly want to be. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next week. As always, share this video with people who might benefit from it. Like it, stay tuned. And I'm so happy to have you with me here next week again. <laughs>